Project Desk has so much stuff on it, like you can't even move without knocking something over. This needs to be handled. Oh, Frankie stinks. Oh my goodness gracious, my hair is looking so good today. Wouldn't you say so? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're, uh, you're, you're in for a treat today. You don't even know it, but you're really, really in for a treat today because a lot of people ask me about my microbladed eyebrows right here. You can still see a little bit of up here. Um, it fades out really quickly on me. Like when I was first researching about it, it was like, oh, it lasts like a year and a half. No, it doesn't. It does not last a year and a half. It literally lasts me about five months where I need to get it touched up. And the sad part is the day after you get your microblading done, you have all these like little hairs and it looks like perfect. And then as soon as it peels, it looks more like the front of mine does where there's just, it's filled in a little bit more, but you can't see precise hair lines anymore, which is really sad. Anyways, it's been, I would say over six months since I got my brows microbladed. Um, the person I go to is all the way in LA. Her name is Audrey Glass. She is amazing. Um, so if you're looking to get it done, you can go up there. I would say it's definitely still worth it. And I wish she lived closer and I would get it done more often. But I found this really interesting item on the internet. Um, I was on Amazon and I found this thing called Self Brow Tattoo. It was under $7. It was like $6.50 and I was like, Hold on, wait a second. You can do your brow tattoo at home, like, and it will look good. So I was like, add to cart. Yes, please, thank you very much. So this just got delivered, and it's interesting because I'm right-handed, so when I open something, it's with my right hand like this, and it's actually like made for left-handed people, so if I was opening this facing me, with my left hand, it's like the right way. But if I'm actually opening it with my right hand, it's like, it's upside down, it's weird. So anyways, I also, uh, so I was like, okay, great. Like, we're gonna try this on a YouTube video because th this could go really well or really, really bad. Like I could end up with blocked, like tattooed eyebrows and you're gonna feel really bad for me, but I'm doing it for you guys. Let's see how this works out. So there's no instructions. Honestly, there's no instructions. The brand is Secret Key. It's a Korean brand. So literally everything on their website is of course in Korean. So I wasn't really able to snag a lot of information. There's absolutely zero directions on this. It came like this with that like plastic wrap over it. There's not a single direction on here. I mean, unless that's it in Korean, but it's there. It's like a sentence. So there's like not even enough room for like instructions. So I feel like this is kind of the product, like a kind of product that you really need instructions with. And so I kind of like looked through the Amazon questions and got some instructions from there. Like people asking questions like, hi, there's no directions here. H help us, like help, help me help myself. I need to know how to use this. So then I also YouTubed it and I found a, a company that sells this that made a video on it. And it really wasn't very instructional at all. It was like 50 seconds. And she just like put it on, left it on for two hours and then peeled it off. And she's like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Look at my eyebrows, they look so good. So that's the that's hopefully what's gonna happen here. The tiny bit of OCD that I has is it's bugging me that it's like upside down when I'm trying to open it, it bothers me. Anyways, not everything can be made for right-handed people. I get it, I get it, inclusivity, I love it. It smells like whiteout and rubber cement glue mixed together. I'm scared, how's this, how, Where's a mirror? I need to get real close to this so I don't screw up my chances at having amazing eyebrows. All right, you know what? I'm actually gonna use the giant mirror on the ColourPop and Shayla palette, which I'll be doing a video on very soon. So as you can see, let me let me zoom you in here. Oh, hi, there you are. So as you can see, my like, a little bit of that in there. I don't know if you're able to tell, but that is microbladed right there, that piece. And then you can see a bit of it filling in my eyebrows over here and right there, that line right there, that's the eyebrow tattoo or whatever, microblading. So as you can see, a lot of it has faded out. Like she pulls this out a bit too. 
and it's faded out quite a bit. So let's just, I'm gonna, there's a lot on the brush when you pull it out. So this is supposed to be ash. So they have a few different colors. This one is ash. Um, it doesn't look very ash colored to me, so. Let's hope for the best. Wish me luck. If my eyebrows are screwed up, ooh, y'all, I'm never gonna live it down. People were just putting this on over their eyebrow hair like this, and I don't know if it actually tints. Oh, shit. Ah, I totally ruined it. I don't know if it actually tints your skin or just your hair. There's no directions. There's no directions for this product. Okay, we're gonna try and fix this. They must have like, like I don't understand that. How do you put out a product like this that obviously has a learning curve and you don't tell anybody how to use it? Like wouldn't that just equal a lot of unhappy customers? It's like me putting out hair color and being like, good luck, I hope you enjoy it. There's no directions, figure it out on your own. Okay, why am I doing this to myself? This is a bad idea. How did you guys let me do this? Why, 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 why? Oh boy. How am I supposed to get my little sperm tail? This brush is giant. I'm regretting my decision to film this video. Too bad it's too late. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna do a block here because there's no way I'm drawing little hairs with this thing. Oh, oh, oh. So supposedly this peels off. A couple of the comments that I read said that it took all their eyebrow hair off with it. So that's something to consider. Oh, the concentration is so real. Ugh. <laughs> and here we go. This seems like a bad idea. Like, how are you supposed to get perfect symmetry with this stupid little brush? The comments on Amazon were like so funny because some people just like really don't get it. <laughs> like there was literally people on there that was like, it's smeared off. And I'm like, this is not an eyebrow product that you just like, okay, put it on like, my eyebrows are done. Like, no, like you peel it off, it's a, it's supposed to stain. Like they tried to wear this or something. I'm like, no, you did not. Good from far, far from good. That's my motto. Hey Leonidas, what do you think of my eyebrows? Don't look at me like that. That's so rude. You can fix your own dinner tonight. It's a monk monk. Okay, this one's a little too far in, so let's, let's pull her out, let's pull her out. <sighs> I haven't been breathing for the last five minutes. <laughs> this is like, really nerve wracking and hard to do with this little brush. And I'm not feeling very confident since there was no directions. Like who does that? I still just, I just, maybe Koreans are just like extremely like smart, way smarter than I am. And they're like, we don't need directions. We don't do this. I'm gonna have the fiercest eyebrows of anybody you've ever seen. Place your bets. Who thinks this is gonna be amazing? And who thinks that I am gonna really, really regret this decision once I, take all this off. I really don't know where my vote is, honestly. The shape's kind of like not the same on both sides, so that's making me a little nervous too, but it's like, I can't work with this. Like, I'm good, good, but I'm not this good. All right, folks, that's as good as it's gonna get. I will see you back here in two hours time, and we will peel this off and see. <laughs> whose vote wins. Do you have faith in this product? Do you have faith in me? I don't even know if I have faith in myself right now. <laughs> I'll be back in two hours. All right, two hours and counting. Let's go see what Ryan thinks of this so far. Hey, what do you think? Hi. Very natural. <laughs> hey, um, so I was thinking that I could try it on you. On what? On no. Me. On what? On my your eyebrows. eyebrows? No, why? They're my a little eyebrows, thin. No, they aren't. They're looking a little thin. <laughs> my eyebrows are definitely Just a tiny bit. not thin. <laughs> Almost got, as thin as be, the back of your hair back don't there. Don't be jealous of all this. <laughs> He's so dumb. <laughs> you wish you had this kind of brow action. Well, I will now. Uh huh. I don't know. I feel like. Got that Groucho Marx thing going. You've never been more attracted to me, right? Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down if you are.
And we're back. It has been about two hours and 40 minutes. I don't know where we start with this, but I guess we'll just start peeling. I kept forgetting that I had it on too. So supposedly this is supposed to just peel off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's crazy. Whoa. Dang, that like really works. Huh? <gasps> Whoa. I'm really wishing I had like done some little like brush strokes with some other sort of a little brush right here because it like looks super blocky. That is so crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I have to say I'm thoroughly shocked and impressed like all at the same time. Now, the shape that I did, I didn't realize it was gonna be this pigmented or else I would have, like I said, taken a really tiny brush and done some like little hairs like peeking out right there and shaped this a little bit better. I thought it was gonna be a little more muted. With that being said, like especially if you only are like filling in little parts of your brows and like not shaping the whole thing, I feel like this is a really great option. Like I, don't know how long this is going to last me because I use a lot of skincare, but from everything that I read, it lasts about two to three days. So you can even darken like freckles or moles with this. I might even do this one so that it shows through foundation and so I usually darken it, but like if I'm not wearing foundation, I kind of like, like it when it's a little bit darker. So I don't know, you could use it a few different ways, but really crazy. Like I did not expect it to color like this or stay, I'm like, kind of shocked right now. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments and uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed yourself and you like review videos, let me know any crazy products you guys have seen um, anytime in the past and I might grab them and purchase them and review them and we can see together how they work. Um, yeah, this is crazy. Wow. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Bud, you need a bath. You stinky. Stop licking me. Your breath stinks.